Gearing up for the Detroit Grand Prix, Chevy and Lear on Belle Isle this weekend, and one of the big races everyone will be watching, the Chevrolet Sports Car Classic. And joining me this morning is championship driver Jack Hawksworth. Good morning. You grew up in Leeds over in the UK, wanting to be a footballer. At some point, you decided, no, I think I'll be a race car driver. When was that? Uh, pretty young, uh, 12 years old. That's when I started racing karts and... Um then I was very fortunate enough to do that in, uh, in England for a long time, up until I was 19. And then uh, when I was 20, I had my first real go in a, in a big car, shall we say. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when I was 21, I came to the United States and I've uh, been racing here ever since. Hey, explain for people who don't know, they think of the Grand Prix and they think probably one race, Formula One type cars, Indy cars. But really, it's a, series, it's a whole weekend in a series of races. Which one are you? So I race in the IMSA WeatherTech series, uh, IMSA WeatherTech sports car series. Uh, it's a series which races all over the North America. We have races such as the Daytona 24 hours, uh, the Sebring 12, 12 hours. Um, and now we're getting into our kind of sprint season, if you will, uh, the shorter races. Um, it's a multi-driver and multi-class um, championship. And what I mean by that is that there'll be several different classes of cars in each race. And... Um, you race for Lexus, and then you said that you were up against like BMW and Mercedes. So I, I race for the Aim Bassett Sullivan team, um, which runs the Lexus RCF GT3 car, um, and we race against a variety of different teams who run um, lots of other different, you know, big manufacturers such as uh, Porsche, BMW, Ferrari, um, and the championship. The cars they're based on the production car that you can buy in the showroom with a, a lot of fancy tweaks on them. Yeah, yeah. Could I get those fancy tweaks to mine? No, uh, probably not. Possibly not, though. <laughs> I don't know if you'd be able to drive it around the uh, streets here in Detroit. How in the world could you not get enough of an adrenaline rush on the racetrack that you would ignore a motor motorcycle? We have, I think from your Twitter feed, a shot of you on a, a dirt bike. So it's not enough that you're driving around the track. At, what are your speeds, by the way? Uh, well, I mean, it's somewhere like Daytona. We'll do 182 mile an hour at the end of the back straight. That's not good enough? you got to go off on a motorbike? <laughs> I don't know if that, I should be showing that when my team are here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I love racing, uh, you know, four wheels, two wheels, and um, I love coming to Detroit. The Grand Prix this weekend should be a fantastic event. Um, you can get your tickets at DetroitGP.com, and, uh, yeah, really look forward to it. DetroitGP.com. What is your daily driver? Uh, I have a RC300, Lexus RC300 hybrid. Good man, representing, right? Exactly. Good yeah. to see you. Cheers, thank you. All right, the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix gets underway Friday with free pre-day, so visitors get in free. There you have it. And don't forget to join us Friday night as we showcase some of the biggest names in racing and some of the biggest names in Detroit. The Grand Prix premiere is live from Belle Isle from 7 to 8 right here on Local 4.